Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're tackling one of the most stressful, frustrating situations a computer user can face. You've sat down at your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. You go to type in your password and nothing. You've forgotten it. You try every password you can remember, but that incorrect password message just keeps mocking you. That sinking feeling starts to set in. You're probably thinking about all your files, your important work documents, your family photos, all your saved games, years of data, all locked away. And the only solution seems to be the dreaded reset this PC option, which means wiping everything and starting from scratch. Well, today, I am going to show you a powerful method to get back into your account. And let me be clear, we are not going to reset your PC. We are not going to format your hard drive. You will not lose any of your personal data. This method will let you reset your forgotten password and get you back to your desktop in just a few minutes, as if nothing ever happened. This trick works by using the built-in Windows recovery tools to our advantage. It might look a little technical, but I promise if you follow step by step, you'll have no problem at all. All right, let's get started. We are here on the Windows lock screen, the one that won't let us in. The very first thing we need to do is get into the Windows recovery environment. To do this, move your mouse down to the very bottom right corner of the screen and click on the power icon. You'll see the menu pop up with sleep, shut down and restart. Now here is the most important part of this first step. Find the shift key on your keyboard, press it and keep holding it down. Do not let it go. While you are still holding that shift key, click on the restart option. You'll see a please wait message and your computer will begin to restart. Keep holding that shift key until you see a new blue screen that says choose an option. This is the Windows recovery environment. You can let go of the shift key now. From this blue screen, we need to navigate to a command prompt. First, click on the option that says troubleshoot. On the next screen, click on advanced options. You'll now see a list of several tools. The one we want is command prompt. Find it and click it. Your computer will restart one more time and it will boot directly into a black window with white text. This is a special elevated command prompt that has administrative power over the whole system. When the window opens, you'll see a command prompt. This X drive is just a temporary virtual drive that Windows uses for recovery. Our actual Windows files are on a different drive, which is almost always the C drive. So the first command we need to type is C colon and then press enter. You should see the prompt change to C colon backslash. This confirms we are now looking at our main hard drive. Next, we need to navigate to the folder where all the critical Windows system files are kept. Type this command and press enter. CD Windows slash System32. The CD stands for Change Directory. Now, here comes the clever part of this trick. On the Windows lock screen, there is an accessibility button. When you click it, it runs a program called utilmin.exe. We are going to temporarily replace that program with the command prompt, which is cmd.exe. This will let us open a command prompt directly from the lock screen. First, we need to make a backup of the original accessibility tool so we can restore it later. Type this command and press enter. Ren utilman.exe, ren utilman1.exe. That's R E N, which is short for rename, then a space, utilman.exe, another space, and utilman1.exe. This just renames the original file to something new, keeping it safe. Now we'll make the command prompt take its place. Type this command and press enter ren cmd.exe, utilman.exe. This renames the command prompt, cmd.exe, to utilman.exe. So now, when Windows tries to open the accessibility tool, it's going to open the command prompt instead. Perfect, our work in this recovery mode is done. Just type exit and press enter. You'll be brought back to that blue choose an option screen. This time, just click the first button, continue, exit and continue to Windows 10 or Windows 11. 
your computer will restart normally and boot right back up to the lock screen. It still looks the same, and it will still ask for that password you've forgotten. But this time, we have a secret back door. Go back down to the bottom right corner, and this time, click on the accessibility icon. It's the one that looks like a little person. And like magic, instead of the accessibility tools, a new command prompt window opens right on top of the lock screen. In this new command window, you need to type one final command. Type control user passwords two. That's control, then a space, user passwords, and the number two. Press enter. This command instantly opens the classic user accounts panel. You'll see a list of all the users on this computer. Simply click on your account, the one you're locked out of, to highlight it. Then look at the bottom of that window. You'll see a button that says, reset password. Click it. A new small window will pop up. It doesn't ask for your old password. It just asks for a new one. You can type in a new simple password that you'll remember. Confirm it in the box below. You can even leave both boxes completely blank if you want to remove the password entirely. Once you've set your new password, click OK. And that's it, you're done. Click OK on the user accounts window, and then you can just close the black command prompt window. Now, back on the lock screen, type in that brand new password you just created, or just press enter if you left it blank. And just like that, you are back on your desktop. All your files are safe, all your programs are exactly as you left them, and you've successfully reset your password without losing a single thing. If this video just saved you from a massive headache, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Consider subscribing for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.